So, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, rather. Oh, shit. Here we go again. And, first of all, telling it to all of you and the Hasbro executives and staff. As foreknown and confirmed with research, My Little Pony uh, Generation 5 and Pony Life not only are really bad and that they do not exist in this timeline, but they are originally licensed by Russia, Truth, Direct and Addressed. So first of all, hello ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to, well, Chris's recent video, and I do mean recent, and because I know uh, Chris has his comment section turned off, but unfortunately for Chris, the comment section is not turned off for this video, so if there's anything you want to say about Chris and you are just a little bit concerned about what Chris, you want, you're going to say about Chris, you may as well say it down here. I will not. Here's the, I don't even block or delete uh, comments anyway, ladies and gentlemen, because you know what? I believe that, you know what? Censorship is, uh, is, is a bust, like most of the time. And there are some things absolutely that people need to know that are being said. So say whatever you like down below because Chris is more than willing to do this because he just straight up uh, uh, issues, you know, things like fake news. They are all originally licensed by Russia. And well, considering what's happened in Russia le recently with the fact that uh, Putin has won his fifth election with an 80 uh, with a percentage of 87.86 percent in his favor and I've seen videos about how the supposed election has actually gone in Russia and it's scary beyond belief what's uh, how it's actually went down but that's not about that this is about Chris and about once again his lambasting about my little pony and Hasbro and bear in mind ladies and gentlemen the last time Chris ranted about this, Chris was uh, sent down to prison only, well, sent to jail only like a month later, possibly even less than that. So I can't imagine things are going to turn out well whenever Chris brings up Hasbro or My Little Pony Generation 5. I don't watch My Little Pony, but I'm going to assume that Chris's uh, opinions are going to be biased only in the view that he just really likes My Little Pony Generation 4, Friendship is Magic. And that Chris is under the illusions or sent him out to the beginnings of the idea, guys, that My Little Pony was supposed to have ended by this year, according to Chris. Which, even if that was true, I think Chris would have still thrown a tantrum about it, no matter what happened. So, whatever. Let's just hear what Chris has got to say. And 25 minutes as well. But before we get into that, there was one little thing I just wanted to say. Just I thought would be really funny to say. Is that... Terror illustrates my error. Now I can't hang around my mama because I scare her. Yes, I was I was listening to Natural Born Killers before this. And I just felt that, well, in light of what we know has happened with Chris, I think that's just... Let's just get straight to it. I'm, 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 I'm wasting time. Okay, here we go. Hey, everybody. Jesus Christ in Western Channel. Sanchi Prime once again. Right here. And today... You might want to consider turning your medallion around, Chris. Nobody wants to look at your crusty backside. Delving into the why, as we have confirmed, and also premonitionary details I have known this entire time. Why MLP, G5, and even Pony Life, no good. No good. Just... So... What do you what do you think is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen? You think that Chris is going to argue his point from an intellectual point of view, from the from the standpoints of production to writing to reception to editing to sound editing? Um, do you think Chris is going to address any of these things in a conceptual way, or is it just because of what Chris feels without actually ever watching this? I want you guys to remember is that when the news of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie came about, Chris said he hated it almost on principle, but then he actually watched it and the, his opinions changed almost immediately, which again, how do you know you're going to hate something unless you actually try it? You tell me. No good. So with that being said, as I'm finally going to tell y'all right now in a video and oh, good. It's already been noted worldwide, and it's been popularly overwhelmed. You know what? Even some, they just essentially, they it's been acknowledged and appreciate, but then it's like, 
They couldn't handle the truth, and neither could you, you fakers and haters and toxic darkest sinners. I'm shedding light and truth. Very good. Very divine. Okay, so Chris is shedding the life on truth. Do you want, Chris, to, what about the time when you were uh, frequented with Bella about what you were doing with your own mother, Chris? Was was that you uh, frequenting the truth on that and shedding the light because, well, it was? Or what about the time when you just straight up lied to know about it, saying that you were spiritually guided? Or what about the time when you tried to avoid the question when Dylan Thomas got in touch with you? What about all of those things, Chris? Do you want to, like, was, was that you shedding the light or were you just... BSing so you could save yourself the legalities of very serious charges. Uh... All right, well, let's get down to it. All right, so let's so let's get down for the starters. Shit, where Chris. essentially, I just for I foresaw it even before Pony Life and long before My Little Pony French's Magic Season Nine Episode. 24 because obviously I just knew it for new the episode 26 of that season was just no good unless they're done not existent and future tense too premature and why <laughs> it all becomes shortly as we process through this lovely set so let's start with right here with my expansion pack from within an expansion pack this Lovely, yes, the FLP and my M seasons 10 to 14. It's a mini expansion that was put in with Night Star Friends expansion pack of Secret Shit Fake Folder. <coughs> and obviously, yeah, we are going to get Friendship is Magic and Equestria Girls resumed without the influence of that country in question that started the war recently and their solo sanctions and everything. <laughs> anyway. So we got all these cards, but yeah, I made this within two th within the year 2019. That's their little reference point. But yeah, obviously I just was able to foretell everything. I knew this beforehand, and I said it explicitly over and over again. And obviously just, <laughs> no, we know your game, you agree, corporate excuses and everything. I mean, Night Star is saying that, not me, Night Star. But then obviously... Oh, I get it. I get it. Nightstar said it. So that means Chris isn't exempt from looking like an idiot because somebody else said it. That Chris decides to retcon for the purposes of this video. Chris, you're talking out of your ass. <laughs> I'm there. I'm giving my share of my two points and my two bolts in the heart about it as well. So... <sighs> anyway... So you're yeah. just lying, Chris. You're lying to us just again. Just appreciate this moment and where we are right now. We're going to get Equestria Girls and Friendship is Magic resumed. But now let's dive deeper. All right, so I found these back on February 22nd upon further exploration and confirmation of all that. So I end up finding this Reddit page where, let's just, I mean, well, past tense, still there anyway. So obviously you got this uh, media right here, the marketing calendar. Now this was posted three years ago, obviously. And of course, includes Pony Life. And obviously you got the people. Oh yeah, what's the original source used by the Rubshin website? The screenshot doesn't exactly seem scream official communication. Darn right. And he and this guy found on an account that has been posting the, all the official news of that of the Russian propaganda there. But yeah, not fake. It's, anyway, he also found the references, which there's a website to the Russian legality, but of course then the PDF, which I have open right here, of all the screen caps, caps all this media. <laughs> so we got all this, and then right underneath, yeah, look at the Russian. So I know immediately, okay, I know immediately what you're thinking of, and I'm thinking the exact same thing. How does Chris actually know this is legitimate? How do we know some people knew that Chris was go was going to make some stuff about? How do we know that this isn't just some uh, troll or just another idea guy that's just decided, Hi I've got an idea, let's fuck with Chris by creating something so that he would believe in, by literally just making some things in Russian, just imagine, just and then putting this, and then not having Hasbro's logo anywhere, like... Chris should have been able to see through this. If this was officially by Hasbro, there would have been a logo in here. And there should have been text about, like, you know, the uh, 
uh, about legalities and stuff like that and how this is legitimately from uh, Hasbro in collaborations with the Russian. But then again, collaborations from who? Who's saying the Russians are involved in this? Look at all the Why isn't Chris like going to Hasbro's website and seeing news about this? Why is he going to Reddit for his information? Russia there. And it's been posted on the website that we'll go to in a moment where Pony Life and G5 Russian license. And of course, uh, you'll know all these continued Russian, even this. And that. And of course, that. And even just these, all that. Now let's go back here for a moment, not tell you again. So, yeah. Oh, here we go. Though I'm still puzzled why there's a Russian MLP flyer before, before we could see an English one. Yeah, but we also got news from Russia about the movie and the fact that it would be an hour-long special. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, so there's those details. Now, on this website, they even cited that, uh, oh, yeah, right here, September 17, 2020, there's no allegedly, there's no allegedly, it's fat. It's just fat. They attended the Rush on Rushing License Summit. So, yeah, and with that, G Pony Life and G5, totally Russian licensed. Now, let's take another note also from right here, so. Well, to be honest, thinking about this, this could include quite a number of things. The first of all, it could just include uh, whether or not there would be authorities in Russia who would be willing to uh, buy, you know, shows like, you know, My Little Pony just to be shown in Russia. It's something very similar to what the Chinese would have to do is that they would have to acquire licenses as to what uh, can be shown in their country. And China just uh, has very, very specific uh ideas about exactly what can be bought uh, from the West as well as, well, the Russians. They would have, like, very specific rules about what can be bought from the rest of the world. A lot of countries have these sorts of uh, ideas in place, and it, it might have absolutely been true that this was, like, happening before this was even released, but then again, in what way? Because, again, you have to understand is that when show when 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 studios or conglomerates make shows is that one thing they have to do is to actually go through these checks so that uh they have the rights to distribute things from all over the world because remember making shows like my little, my little pony is not cheap and therefore they need uh, a a large audience to see what they can do and therefore to not exclude the russians would be a very drastic uh, uh, decision because of the influence and what you could actually sell. Because it's like, you, you, you know what I'm trying to get at. So there probably would have been very legitimate reasons that Chris probably should have been looking into anyway. So this could have just been something that might have caught the eye attention of people as to whether or not the Russians were going out of the way to do this. So that's my that's the only thing I could come up with but I don't I don't seriously suspect that Clyde Cash has turned Russian so he can uh, claim status in Russia just so he can work his way up the chain with Penny to put this into motion so I hardly I have my suspicions with this so oh, September 4 20 I also have my suspicions of whether or not Chris really thinks this is what it thinks it is he just saw the word Russia and My Little Pony Gen 5 and put one and one together and thinking that's all it takes to be convinced. 4th, 2021 was when that, f when that film was released. This generation does not exist in this timeline at all, period. We'll get to that a little bit later. Now, take a note of this. Now, it is in the credits of that movie, the executive producer, somebody of... Uh, the Hasbro chair of executives, Brian Goldner, the late Brian Goldner. <laughs> and he passed on on October 11th, 2021. We go from September 24, 2021, his name in the credits, and then nearly a month later, he was given the ats. He was given, he was asked. So, yeah, obviously just. Even I connected with his soul and everything. He had regrets about G5, period. And right there, ladies and gentlemen, is all the proof that I needed. I spiritually connected with him. So, you know what? 
I could just basically stop the video right now and just say that, well, that's all the proof I need. Chris is talking out of his ass and his, uh, and his suspicions are not actually based on fact. They are based on just him trying to confirm in his mind that My Little Pony Gen 5 does not exist and for there any reason to believe that Gen 5 should be cancelled immediately. This is based on nothing to, relating to actual events or even to the suspicions of the late of the late Brian Goldner and this is all just about what Chris wants and it's got absolutely nothing to do with what anybody else has to say on the matter whether or not uh, it makes sense or whether My Little Pony Gen 5 is of any good whatsoever. All this relates to ladies and gentlemen is the fact that it's all about what Chris wants and it's all about Chris. It's got nothing to do with what anybody else wants, thinks, it's just about trying to get Chris to make himself look like an ass. Which I have to applaud the people who made that uh, the, the post on Reddit with the very convincing looking text. Because I don't buy that for one second. Also, I don't care about My Little Pony anyway. So make of that what you will. But even I can see through this. And again, when you have somebody with like Chris, it's very, very easy to convince him otherwise. So I'm sorry, but... You're not going to convince me, Chris, so continue making an ass out of yourself. So, let's keep going. Period. As well as Pony Life and the Russian Connections. And just, obviously, everybody there. I forgot what this one is. Oh, yeah. And then, right, following Brian's death, and of course, unfortunately, links with my birthday, Russian attacks Ukraine, 2022 February. Yeah. So, we got all this going on. So, I told you before... We got the connections. Pony Life and G5, Russian license. The movie came out. The the business chief executive Hasbro passes on, and then World War Three. Period. Okay, Chris. The timing and everything. Okay, Chris. Let's. I know you've had you've had a propensity for fake news and information throughout this as well. But let's get the facts straight. Is that the Russian invasion of Ukraine is just an invasion as of this moment. It's not World War Three. There is a difference, Chris. Even though Macron says that we've got the Europe has got to be ready to go to war for there to be peace in Ukraine, we're not at war yet, or hopefully we never will be. So. Make of that what you will, Chris. But, again, I'm just saying this for the people that care. Don't listen to Chris when he claims that this is World War Three. It's not. It's not quite this. It's not the same. I think it's so important. You guys appreciate the, appreciate that. Now, let's take another note oh, I'm also, because I do have this I... file pulled up. Turn it to the executives, and guess who's in the picture? Huh? And this car was made back in 2019. 2019. And all this happened. I talked to him, and then what happened? You think about that. It's divine. Is Chris trying to suggest that Brian Goldner died because he decided not to listen to Chris? Is is that what Chris is trying to get at? What am I listening to anymore? I I. This is just. It's it's too painful. It's it's not possible for somebody to be this fucking stupid. Oh, God. My time in, regardless of what happened or the possibility of Russia influence, like, you know, slipping a little something in his drink or whatever. Now, that's alternate timeline, but obviously, you know, what happened in this time. He wasn't feeling well in the office, so, yeah, that likelihood's still there as well. And then just, but yeah, he had, he, he had his cancer problem. Anyway, sorry on that. He just... Much appreciation for this individual and realizing he was in the wrong in regards to G5 and Pony Life. And then, yeah. So, basically, so Chris's response to somebody who was dying from cancer, his Chris's response was, sorry, but not sorry. Go to hell, Chris. Much appreciate. But it's also, like, give an honorable mention to these other two I have foreknowingly, foresightedly put into this very card. Steve Zoltik, Executive Vice President and Chief Information Officer. And Lisa Gersh, Outside Cyber, outside cyber Advisor, former Chief Executive Officer. Noted Alexander Wang, that's where she, she works at. So yeah, these top three. 
influential individuals right there. Now, moving forward, back to what happened shortly after Russia attacked Ukraine, all of those sanctions, over five, well over 500 against Russia, because, you know, obviously Putin... Well, Chris, what do you expect they were going to do? Like, you think the rest of the world was going to condone the R Russia's actions? Why are you surprised at that? I... I I'm sorry, but what what exactly is Chris trying to prove with this again? I kind of missed the point because I don't think Chris had one. Putin, the Kremlin, and all that, and the fact that Russia is literally the modern-day Babylon, the dragons, the kings. I'll tell you what, even also on the connection with China's government and all that, dragon Xi Jinping, the banana peel. I'm quite aware of the paper protest. Okay, okay, what he said about China may be understandable. Modern day Babylon, however, not really. No, no, Chris, no. Uh, you know what, you know what's really, really strange? Is that I just recently made a video about Chris's views on politics. And I suppose we can throw that in there somehow because... Chris is now trying to suggest that all of these have got to work. No matter, listen, uh, I can't get away from the fact that whatever you think Chris's views are on worldwide politics and relations and war are at this present moment, don't buy into it. Don't buy into it. The only reason Chris is mentioning this is because he's got a chip on his shoulder because of a freaking cartoon about talking ponies. That is all this is about. There is, n oh God, I'm just, I'm. Let's keep going, please. And I do support those that actually participate in that protest. They were against the government, and the Chinese government, not perfect. Just, fortunately, that's a minority out of the majority being more spiritual with the Zen and Chinese zodiac and all that good, and all that's authentically good stuff. Anyway, now, let's talk about one reason, one thing that came about from those sanctions, which this is true, this is to be the fate of MLP G5. <sighs> yeah, several supermarkets and states have removed the Russian-made vodka, the vodka, from their shelves in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. You think about that moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, uh, two things as well, while Chris is trying to get the old mm-hmm logo, is that, first of all, vodka is actually a Polish invention. Second, just because uh, Russian made vodka does not mean that other vodkas made by other countries is not permitted. And what exactly Russia's population in regards to the actual uh, vodka or alcoholic marketing board is, at, well, I don't know what it is. But I don't think it's nearly as huge as what you think it is. Also, I'm pretty sure there are plenty of other ways in which Russian oligarchs or, you know, uh, uh, kingpins or stuff like that can get around this issue. So it's not exactly as if, like, Russia's economy is going to be tanked too hard by this. Mm-hmm. Just, mm-hmm. I mean, you got Russia that just being a mad, mad, really mad, bad bully against Ukraine that want peace and good. And then what does Putin do? He's like, oh, sure, I'll give you some more peace. Let's negotiate. And then let's do peace talks. But then guess what? He attacks him again. It's just he's constantly lying behind his back. He's got those fingers crossed behind his back. Sheesh. I mean, shoot. <laughs> Oh, let me also just throw in this an honorable mention as well in, in relation to uh, Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump. I mean, the fact that all of you were like, uh, you mischronicle me as like President of the United States and just being really bad, arrogant and everything. I mean, shoot. I'm not a freaking Nazi. I do not support Nazism. I am a part, I am part Ashkenazi and Jewish, physically and spiritually as well. So I'm multi-religious. And look at this. Chris claims to be multi-religious, but then again, this asks the question of when was the last time Chris ever attended a synagogue? When was the last time he ever went to church? Also, by the way, just claiming to be um, multi-religious does not mean to say you're not exempt from things like being deluded or being 
naive or being cruel towards other pe people. You know what I mean? You could say you could Chris could claim to be an imam, a priest, a bishop, a rabbi, all he wants. It doesn't it doesn't change who he is. You know what I'm trying you know what I'm trying to say? I'm wearing this loud and proud. You take note of this pin right here. I you take note of that pin. I'm very proud of that. And I propose and support what is good, light powered, and righteous. It has nothing to do with the political governments or whatever misconceptions from hatred and So why is Chris even bothering to bring up politics at all then? What, 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 what's, what's even the point of this? Chris, you've wasted nearly half the video trying to make a connection between Hasbro and the Russian government. But if you're saying if it doesn't matter, then why even bother bring it up? I don't really need to, like, explain that... Chris, did Chris ever think about that before he put this video together? I doubt it. Demons and devils and doubts y'all had and may have. I do these protests. I do in this right now because it's divinely right and so MLPG5 non-existent in this timeline because that empire life, Russia influence, and Russia over 99% toxic. It's going to go down like Babylon. Period. Okay, so I've just thought about something very interesting. Um, Tell me if you guys have ever read 1984 where O'Brien pulls out a photograph of Aaron's Jones and Rutherford in New York and he just puts it straight into the memory hole and Winston tries to claim that it did exist. But then O'Brien says it didn't exist. It never existed. And so Chris is trying, I think what Chris has tried to do is almost try to like initiate almost a semblance of like double think. But I don't think Chris knows what that is, and I don't think Chris even has the fortitude to understand why it works, how it can work, and once again, if Chris even knows what he's talking about. So, there's that, I guess. And I'll say one more time. Putin shall die by his own sword, as I had drawn while I was in jail. Foreknowingly. Oh, good. Anyway, so getting back to this. Now, obviously... We got the details in regards to resuming. Friendship is magic. It crushes your girls. Just, you know, the last three episodes, premature. Well, actually, episode 26 of season 9, totally premature. Um, but just 24 and 26 had two part. Um, I'd say I'd give it a decent pass. But it's like, meh. Totally. That's why totally delayed on watching any of those three episodes, period. Mm. And just all that. Now, let's talk in our details. So even the AI, Microsoft Bing, helped me out here. So let's look at the popular feelings about Pony Life. Now, just obviously reception of Pony Life, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, some, yeah, I mean, just to all like teen, uh, teen signs go. Yeah, anyway. It's just the whole comparison and contrast, but still, definitely avoids character assassination and whatnot. Definitely right on point. But point of life, Russia influenced, like G5, definitely. But yeah, after just watching obnoxious, obnoxious like Russia. So in case you're wondering again as to why if the U.S. government was aware that Hasbro was in leagues with the Russian government and why... Uh, the, 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 America, the, the American government didn't put sanctions on Hasbro or, you know, restrict uh, uh, Hasbro or showcasing My Little Pony Gen 5 or any of Hasbro's other properties at this point. That's a good question that I don't think Chris can answer. Because once again, if Chris could answer them, he would have probably turned the comment section on. Which, yeah, that's a big sign of, like, Chris doesn't know what he's doing when he turns the comment section off. Because it's a surefire way that all that matters is Chris's opinion and nobody else's. Constant stream of noise, seeing the RCL lack of cleverness and humor. <laughs> it's like Russia does not uh, does not want to promote any cleverness. Period. There's no, it's just no heart, no soul. And just if you know anything about Russia and uh, everything that the government is over polluting with them, there's hardly any churches over there. They hardly, and there's hardly any spiritual goodness no spiritual act is uh spiritual promotion in that 
because the go because the Russian government were like, no. Soviet Union? No. Fortunately, the Soviet Union is long gone for right now, but we still got to get rid of Putin and Donald Trump. They're going to go down to the fire and brimstone, just as stated in the Bible between Revelations and uh, Exodus, the last book in the Old Testament. Uh, God. Uh, anyway, I know the outcome of that story. We have Chris. 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 Just... Chris, I, I've, I've said this before about you, and I'll just say it again. In fact, ironically, when I said this before, it was in relation to when Chris was talking about Donald Trump, or specifically Hitler. In relation, I suppose. Um, Chris, I'll just say this again. Sometimes it's better in life just not to say anything. Just putting that out there. Just, I've read it and reread it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. It is, it is just overhead. This is like a quality in that, and this, that's what Rush is: lack of authentic, good, light-powered, righteous quality. Just too much evil within that. And I gotta support and give props to those in the uh, minority. You know, it's quite ironic the fact that Chris lives quite close to a train station now because this is going like off the rails, big style. That remain in Russia right now that are good, light-powered, and righteous. Stay strong. The toxicity, the evil, going down. Now let's compare. Let's talk about uh, the the feelings of G five. Now, of course, everybody has mixed feelings. Just look at this: less positive, more negative, and just range of emotions. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, not sign, but more over rage. Just forget about G five. Period. It does not exist. And I'm not the only one that feels this way. Even Dr. Wolf is like, uh, make your more chapter 5 is what exactly? And look at that expression of motion right there. That's on point. And Quick question. Um, did Dr. Wolf at any point uh, say during all this or in recent events that he believes that Hasbro is in relations or in, in cahoots with the Russians? Is Does that, does that come into point in this? Because I know Chris listens to Dr. Wolf quite a lot. But... What I ah uh, never mind. I just I'm pretty sure Doctor Wolf has also blocked Chris on Twitter. But yeah, you gotta also wonder about the veracity of how many people would genuinely believe Chris, despite the fact that we know um all the other things that we do know about Chris, from his arrests to the fact that you know Chris blah blah blah. He it's just because Chris doesn't like it and he's more whatever. Doesn't know what it wants to be because it does not exist. So there. Just, no, no. And even Mad Munchkin is like, hell no. It sucks. It sucks. Gen 5 sucks. She knows it. Dr. Wolf. So, okay, um, another quick question is that I can't wait for the day when Chris sits down and actually uh, watch. If, if Chris actually sat down and watched G5, then... Chris could easily just say, you know what, Gen 5 is not good, and these are for the reasons. It's almost as though Chris has just tried to avoid doing what anybody else would do in the situation by viewing it objectively and actually giving something of a detailed review about it. But Chris does not really seem capable or... No, he just doesn't want to do that. That's what this all comes to. He just doesn't want to do it. Wolf knows it. Even Lightning Bliss took a look at it, but uh, it's like, uh, final thoughts before G5 movie release. I mean, she saw that from a mile away, too. Just, expression on her face, like. By the way, as well, um, while Chris tries to think he's clever, these were taken, like, what, three, two years ago? Maybe perspective on things change, but again, maybe that's giving Chris too much credit to say that just because opinions from two years ago, well. Okay, maybe there's a like further down the list. Okay, maybe that's just maybe that's a different matter. Yeah, so I'm not the only one, and let's talk about more recently because they couldn't handle the truth. A question daily acknowledge the fact that G5 does not exist in the very timeline. Let's take a closer look at that tweet because that had been deleted. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Does not exist. Yes, I'm gonna read this out loud because all of you should appreciate this as well. Anything MLP G5 is simply not meant to be. The typical reasons include the executives being money hungry. But, 
Why is Chris taking advice from the quickie dedicated to him? Does, does Chris ever read anything that related to the quickie? Um, because they don't paint Chris in a, in a particularly positive light. So, what what is Chris even doing anymore? I, I don't know. Get a job, Chris. There you are. That's, that's more constructive and more useful. And something that does exist in this timeline. Wanting something fresh and new... And competing with the likes of Disney with video technology and all. When In fact, you know what? Never mind getting a job, Chris. Just do some fucking work. Anything else. Do something actually productive with your life. That's that's what you ought to be doing for years. But no. We, we, we all know the reasons for this. And they never, ever, ever, ever had to. As well as laying the original, laying off the original staff of MLP G4 to cut costs and whatnot. But moreover, G5 was literally foretold by me, and everyone agrees after the fact that it was to be simply awful and out of place. And this is not due to the quality of art, stories, characters, or whatever. It goes deeper, metaphysically deeper. As not only there is a lot more to explore in Chronicle with Princess Twice Sparkle and everyone else, including the background ponies of Equestria and Earth, County Equestria Girls, because that is canon, period. Including Dr. Wolf and the OCs of the fandom being literally canon as well. And existent in Equestria, period. Friendship is Magic and Equestria Girls was perfect in quality, not counting the premature Season 9, Episode 26, Future Episode, and the additional five seasons that is to be manifest that gives it better quality because they are not to be influenced by Russia. I'm going to throw in China, the government of China in that as well. So it gets better quality from that. Character growth and closures. DJ Pawn 3 does have a voice. Jesse Nowacking is the poised, perfect voice actor for her, hands down. Dr. Wolf, Lightning Bliss, and the others interact with everyone in Ponyville, Canterlot and all. Nicer Sanchu, the half unicorn, half Sanchu with dimensional and psychic powers is there and has personally worked with Twilight and her friends as well. This is not head canon. This is. It is canon in this timeline and in general, period. And the resuming of G4 will only bring about better peace and order restoration with everyone in general and metaphysically. And spiritually as well. And on top of that, the executives have lost since G5 I began. Lost, lost, lost. Pardon me. And they still have a chance to redeem themselves and Hasbro by simply canceling G5, completely shelving it like a write off, a write, like a write off, like Coyote versus Acme present tense. Removing G5 from all streaming services and downloads and removing every single trace of it from YouTube. The fanbase should cease to produce or even talk about G5 right this very instant and now. No more pins, no more fan art, nothing. Nothing of pip. So Chris talks about, you know, trying to say, you know, toxicity will die and goodness will prevail. Even though Chris is ordering people to obey him, which... You, you know how in uh, Solitude issue, uh, 11, was it ever 10 or 11, where Chris decided he wanted to create a gay vaccine and say that he knows people will be offended, but he's doing the right thing and you'll shut up and do as I say. Yeah, and then he executed the Asperpedia 4. Yeah, once again, Noel said it all along. Chris has not learned a single thing in now 17 years. So don't be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, when this sort of thing happens again and again and again, because it's all the same. Sunny, Zip, and all of them, down in the fire and flames, the cleansing blue flames, and if they stick around, and they continue to linger, just... Flames aren't really renowned for being blue. They go into fire and brimstone also. <sighs> this, the fan, yeah, obviously... It is by will and by divine will and timing. I know this personally because I've connected with literally through the universe core and matrix of our universe right here. The the core and matrix of this very timeline. Okay, you know what? I've got a better idea. There we go. So while let, while we give Chris a, a couple of moments so that he can literally let it all out and we'll go over it again. But I think it's fair to say you can get a gauge for what Chris is talking about. I just kind of want to do um. 
bring your guys' attention back to one thing, is that if you by any chance have watched My Little Pony Gen 5 and whether you thought it was good, whether you thought it was okay, whether you were fairly neutral or had no strong feelings about it, whether you had, you could see the issues with it, but you thought it was still quite good, or if you just did not like it, I would encourage all of you to actually voice all of your opinions down below. And guess what? We will respect your opinions, and we will not discriminate against those who like or dislike something, especially if it's something subjective, like a piece of fiction such as My Little Pony Generation 5. Remember, I am not, even though people say I look like Chris, I am not like Chris. So, for example, I will not turn the comment section off for reasons of that description. So, just if you're feeling as though I'm being unfair in these opinions, I really am not uh, being unfair. I'm just, just trying to put this into a way that is actually more open and is based on actual logic, ideologies, uh, things that actually exist in reality and not use bu uh, bullshit explanations like, you know, spiritually guided and that he could order things around. So I'm going to take this back just very quickly because I think Chris is still ranting, but just to let you know, guys, that's just where I stand. So let's just let Chris play this out. Here, just, they go into fire and brimstone also. This, the fan, obviously, is by will and by divine will and timing. I know this personally because I've connected with literally through the universe core and matrix of our universe right here. The, the core and matrix of this very timeline all the way to the alpha omega point of all existence and its core matrix. The definite source and beyond. So I know this unconsciously, subconsciously, consciously, and backed up in all my cloud sizes within the cosmos. I mean, nobody has ever asked for G5 nor even Pony Life. And now is the time, more than ever, to resume G4, Equestria Girls, and Friendship is Magic before everything gets worse, period. This is not just a feeling or opinion. This is cold, heart, fat from the literal core and matrix of this universe, core and matrix of this timeline, along with divine will. And drama can go somewhere else with the toxic ones that linger. But in short, forget everything MLP G5 and Pony Life right freaking now. And no longer and no longer acknowledge it because it does not exist in this timeline. And had courage Hasbro to resume friendship with magic and equestria girls right freaking now. Divine order, worldwide peace, peace of, and within the Brony community. Oh, well, look at them. They put G in that as well. Somebody is tied. Maybe I mistyped that. Anyway. Like, well, whatever. Within the Brony community that I am a part of regardless. Along with the authentic love that supersedes greed, money, f hatred, and toxic. Authentic love, even though Chris again orders people and says, You will do as I say right freaking now. Um, I know I've mentioned this before, but I just want to mention it again. Are you are you convinced by Chris's uh delusions? Are you convinced by Chris's demands? I hope not. But well, if you think that this is gonna be an accurate description about uh or uh, this is this is the sort of thing that's gonna win you over where about concerning uh generation five or generation four well, again, maybe maybe in the eyes of people who are a bit more involved with My Little Pony may think so, but I'm not. So, again, call that what you will. It's cities. I mean, just you. I was acknowledged, and you know what? You got the file. I mean, you saw the tweet right here. I'm just ashamed. I'm just sorry I missed that tweet and they get, did not get a chance to like it. But... Look at the page where all that was on. That very page. Look. And then compare it with this. Like, you know, evil for bad. Uh, uh, significance in Lara Bama. And then look at this. Uh, significance in Lara Bama. If, this bullet point. I was right there. I was right there. I was right there. <laughs> Even Hasbro was like, in question of crazy. Gave a whole bunch of knocks on the door in response to that. All right. <laughs> You know what? Let's bring that image right now. It's just on point. I told it to those executives, and they chicken out. Then they, they're like to question daily. But hey, no. I told it to the executives right now. The ones that remain. You can't handle that truth. 
So yeah, it's divine will, divine told. If G5 is not shelved right now, when when Hasbro has a chance to redeem themselves during the limited time, it's just going to be divinely will and done, period, with G4 being resumed with Adobe Flash and all the original animation programs. No CG and nothing that came about in the likes of Pony Life or uh, that Russian propaganda, which is G5, as well as Pony Life, which that is also Russian propaganda. So, yeah, it ought to be dissolved, destroyed, totally wiped. Even every single piece of merchandise, including any of those G5 towels. That, or blanket, as it were, that was put in that one leak that Lightning Bliss also responded to at that one point. <sighs> uh, yep. Well, that was divinely timed right there. <laughs> so, yeah, let's zap it up to its stream. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Is that anything else? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Red redeem yourselves. You know what to do, people at Hasbro. You know what to do. Original staff at G4. Hire them all back. Get rid of everybody and everything G5. Maybe bring some of them back on for, like, uh, guest details and whatnot for the resuming of G4. John Delancey as Discord is going to be like, Okay, I'm sorry. So, this future episode of uh, that was premiered at the end of Season 9? Mm, yeah, I'm sorry. That's not canon right now. So, we're going to take you back to the earlier time when... Princess Twilight had actually just made it into being Princess of Equestria. Oh, and I will admit, Luna and Celestia, they still do their sun and dream work, despite taking retirement. There's no escaping their divine duties. Period. Hmm. Yeah, obviously, go with the original Ryan, and as John Delancey will. I really support that guy, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to make this reference one more time because of my silver quill. So... What about Discord? What about him? No, the episode. What did they go of the episode? What about Discord? What about him? <laughs> That's just so funny on loop, but still appropriate. All right. Y'all take care. Have a blessed, safe day. Let's do this. It's divinely timed and will and rightly so. Light-powered, good, righteousness. Also, in case you're wondering how exactly can uh, Chris refer to himself as um, as Jesus, whilst also claiming to be like multi-faith and stuff like that, is a pretty good question that I don't think Chris could ever answer. And, well, I'm just going to sort of like um, wrap this video up by basically stating this, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that Chris basically spent half an hour ranting about something of no significance, not trying to bring it back to saying, therefore, it is proof that Hasbro is in cahoots with the Russians. And, well, Chris just decides to throw it out there, thinking that people are going to be convinced at this. And, well, there we go. So, let's just... I'm just going to say, just before we, we end this properly, I'm just... Because I know fine well probably what you guys are going to be thinking of as well is that, well, is this possibly a return to form for Chris? That he's just going to continue as though nothing had happened? Well, no. The thought of Chris returning in any capacity is a horrible one. And that, well, it says quite a lot about just how dedicated Chris is to this cause. The fact that he's just willing to bounce off ideas here, there, and everywhere. But, hey, listen, if I don't believe it, and my opinions aren't going to change about that because of all the evidence and the fact that I know that Chris is unreliable, well, I think it's fair to suggest that, well, I'm probably not going to be the only one who has questions about Chris's logic. But who am I kidding? I, I, the, the only real people I, I'm convinced actually believe in Chris's delusions are just those who are going to feed into them because they because they're probably thinking we can create some sort of antics with this. So there we are. That's just putting it out there, and I cannot wait to see all of you guys again in the next video. I know I'm sort of like putting two videos out simultaneously, but well, it it, it is what it is. So thank you for watching, and remember, if you are a fan of My Little Pony Generation Five, more power to you. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs>